Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Unfortunately, I can't show you this next video, but I encourage you guys to go and check it out on Twitter. It's everywhere at the moment. A lot of people are sharing it. Go check out Patrick Beck David. He shared it. Uh, the Hodge twins, they've shared it too. But it's a video of Good Morning America. I'm not too sure when this segment actually took place. And the reason why I can't show you the video is because Good Morning America and the ABC copyright the living crap out of everything that you use on YouTube. Uh, and I don't want to get taken off because of a copyright strike or whatever else. I'm being very, very careful uh, not to get taken off. But it is actually a very disgusting video. It's a young kid named Desmond, who many of you may actually know. And if you don't know who Desmond is, he's a young biological boy acting like a drag queen okay so you may have seen many of the videos circulating on twitter of young desmond on uh actual drag queen shows performing with adults it's highly disturbing and highly disgusting it's actual child abuse if you ask me but good morning america has decided to participate recently in the in the exposure of actual child abuse with allowing Desmond to come onto the show, perform an entrance and then get interviewed by the two adult hosts. And you, if you watch the video, you see everyone's clapping at Desmond entering into the actual studio and dancing, wearing clothes like a woman. To me, that ain't right. To me, that is highly concerning and highly provocative. If you ask me, like in today's day and age, they are the kids. They're trying to indoctrinate the young kids and say that it's okay for a young kid to dress like that, to act like that, to speak like the way Desmond's speaking. And they, they're going, oh, it should be normal. It's okay. It's not okay. It's sick, wicked, despicable, and evil. Now, if I was a devil and if I wanted to change the next generation, if I wanted to get my evil messaging out there into the world, what do you think I would do? I know that... God created every one of us to be a sexual being of sorts, but he made sex and everything else to be a wonderful thing. But what Satan has done is knowing that we are sexual beings and we get rather attracted to that sort of stuff, he's perverted it and made it into something that it shouldn't actually be. Now, I know a lot of people would more than likely disagree with me on that, especially if they think that, oh, there's nothing wrong with this because of being desensitized a lot of the time to, let's just say, a young kid wearing drag and performing like a drag queen. If an adult dresses as a drag queen, I've still got an issue with it, can't change it. I think it's disgusting. Like even at the Sydney Marathon, there were drag queens on the course. I'm going, the hell? I just want to freaking run. Thank you very much. I don't want to have to see and subject myself to drag queens cheering me on in these skimpy clothes. And one of them had this going on. If you know what this terminology means, like stuck up. Okay. Like it was, it was disgusting to actually watch. I had to watch it and there were kids around. Like it, it's disgusting behavior, but that's what society is encouraging now. And in fact, they're trying to normalize it. They're trying to normalize the terminology of minor attracted persons or pedophilia. They're trying to normalize that and say, it's okay. You, you may have seen the video that I made the other day about a so-called doctor. I am very hesitant to use that because I don't think she actually is because she's promoting that there's such a thing as a virtuous P word. It's a virtuous individual that goes after innocent kids and abuses innocent kids and takes away a kids' innocence. Like that to me is problematic on so many levels and she should be in prison. But I think these people should also be in prison for encouraging and worshipping a child dressing up in drag and acting all provocatively in front of them while they cheer on. Michael Strahan, one of the hosts, is actually a father. and. Um, I wonder if he let his kid do this. We know how corrupt Hollywood actually is, right? Why is this stuff continuing? Here's a couple of shots, like a couple of photos. You look at some of the people in this audience, they're like super happy. Shame on the parents for allowing their kid to do this in the first place. 
the kid, the, the parents are like seeing this as a lucrative opportunity for their kid to get relatively famous and earn quite a bit of money in the process. But the, the way the kid is earning money is just so wrong. Here's another one. Another one. Just look at Desmond, man. He's a young kid. He probably doesn't fully understand what he's doing, but who knows what his, uh, his upbringing is lot his, his upbringing is Desmond is amazing in the background. Drag is actually a rather provocative and overtly sexual thing. It's also rather disgusting when you look at the history of drag queens back in the day. You know what men like they wouldn't allow women to be in the movies, so they men would dress up like women and and actually act as women. Hence drag. It also came out that uh, men were being overtly perverted in the performances, you name it. It was a horrible history and it's actually rather misogynistic, if you ask me, and sexist, but hey, it's now worshipped, it's now celebrated and now young kids are unfortunately doing it. So I first came across this video by the gay Republican. I don't follow him. He just came up on my... Twitter feed, who's part of the Gays Against Groomers, which I do follow, probably why this is re referred to me. Not because I hate my fellow gays, but because I hate this. Whether you're gay or straight, sexualizing children is wrong. Join with me in telling creepers to leave kids alone. Erin Elizabeth Heath Nut News. Uh, what the Jeffrey Epstein is going on? Good morning, America, a.k.a. GMA. Has, has on some little boy dressed as a girl or trans doing drag. Leave the kids alone. Patrick Bet David. Now they have little kids come out as drag queens. This is pathetic. Only Trump can stop this insanity. Well, let's hope that he can if he gets in. And the Hodge twins goes, not just pathetic, this is child abuse. Sad as hell. I agree. It's just despicable behavior, especially from a mainstream media network, which is one of the biggest... Uh, morning shows in America, what they are promoting. And they don't seem to care. You know why? Gets ratings, gets views, gets some money. And they're also promoting the message that everyone's going, oh, I love this. This is so great. Well done to the young Desmond. Everyone with a brain, common sense, decency is going, hell no, stop this madness immediately. But everyone that loves this stuff and is quite perverted is cheering it on, which I have a huge problem with. Anyhow, my friends, let's just continue to pray that nothing happens to that kid. I just hope to God, because when you're in that sexually perverted industry, lots of horrible things happen. That's just fact. I know it can happen outside of that, but it seems to happen a lot more when you're in the industry. Anyhow, my friends, you guys take care, be blessed, and I'll see you all in the next video.